Well, hello there. I'm Rachel Archelaus. Thanks for being here. Today we're going to talk about your self-expression, my self-expression, how to embrace it more, how to find the truth of you, because a lot of times we just kind of shoo things away because we're afraid. And we're just going to chat as I put some makeup on my face to get ready for an Intimate Alien live stream. If you don't know Intimate Alien, she is a being in the Pleiades, partially in me at all times and partially living there. And she's pretty darn cool. She's fun. She's sassy. And she knows what she wants to look like. So today I'm going to let her play on my face. You can see some of the makeup surrounding me. <laughs> and... We're just gonna have a chat, so why don't you settle in, grab a beverage, and get ready with us. You know, a lot of people, a lot of my friends, think that because I'm so bold with my, like, you know, intimate alien stuff and dyeing my hair strange colors, even though at this moment it is blonde, they think that I've, like, never suffered from fear when it comes to self-expression. And that's just not true. But luckily, when I was younger, I I just kind of felt my own truth, and I went with it. It was like if I was curious about something, if I wanted to try something, I wasn't afraid to try it. And that set me up to be less fearful as an adult. But I'll tell you, so I used to dye my hair purple and green and blue and combinations of that stuff and all kinds of things starting from when I was 11 or 12 in middle school. Back then it wasn't a popular thing. I was the first person in my school to do it. In fact, I almost got suspended for doing it because my principal thought that it would be distracting to the other kids. So it wasn't as popular as it is now for sure. It wasn't sold in drug stores. You know what I mean? Like you had to specially order stuff like that. I grew up kind of feeling a little bit of the backlash, as you would call it, for being different. But I was so, like, spunky and young, it didn't faze me at the time. I mean, I definitely got called weird names in malls and at school and stuff. Like, a freak and a weirdo and all kinds of things. Um, but honestly, it really didn't bother me. It sort of rolled off my shoulders. I went through a much harder time my late teens and in my early 20s, I had a pretty unfortunate relationship that was um, very like demoralizing to my confidence. And the first time I dyed my hair after that, I was terrified. I was so scared. I actually made a video doing it. Maybe I'll link to that if I'm brave enough. It was like, but depending on where my own inner confidence was at, that's how scared I was about expressing myself. I mean, I even lied <laughs> again, like I went to get a breakfast sandwich and I had green hair and the, the lady making my sandwich was like, oh, that looks so good on you. And I was like, oh, it's just for Halloween. Like I couldn't bring myself to own it as my truth. I wasn't embodied in it. I wasn't relaxed in it. And so I definitely have experiences of that. You know, I'm not just like immune to um, feeling insecure about things. Now that I have a little bit of base on, we can get we can get funky. So I have um, I'm so excited these Kaleidos eyeliners that are multi-chrome, and I have this really cool Kaleidos highlighter that is also multi-chrome. I'm not a beauty guru, so this might not work very well, but like, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna hide my face. Can you see that? It's like peach and green and pink. It's, it's so amazing. And this was my first order from Kaleidos. And their packaging is just stunning. I ordered four of the liquid lipsticks because they came in this tin. Oh my gosh, I just love them. Um, I def, okay, I'm so excited. And usually I'm not so much a part of this process when Intimate Alien's getting ready, but I'm making a video, so we're both here. I'm also excited to use these um, NYX, they're like eye pencil crayons. They're really cool. I used them for Halloween 
and they're very easy to use and very fun. Let's, where does, all right, where does Intimidating leave us? She wants to start with this. This is Iced Latte from the NYX line. And I, my um, mirror is very far away. So I can barely see it, just so you know. Just so you don't judge me too much. But you know what I love about makeup for live streams is like, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're not seeing anyone in person. So I do have a history of bold self-expression, but I also have a history of insecurity with self-expression. But as I went ahead with certain things, as I dyed my hair green again, as I cut my hair short, as I started getting into more makeup for me, I got more comfortable. You know, practice makes perfect, right? So I would say if you are knowing that you want to try something, whether it's like a bold hat or uh, you want to start wearing lipstick, then try it. Try it out. Go to the store with it on one day, you know. Don't commit to doing it for the whole day. Try it out once or twice, you know, like go to the coffee shop with something new. I remember I, I had this um, bright lipstick on and I went to go get a lottery ticket one day in Wyoming and I got such a different response from the people in the store because usually I don't wear lipstick like that during my day to day anyway, as me. <laughs> and like everyone was so nice to me and it was like so funny how different it made other people respond to me and now that's not why I do it right but it was a fun thing to experience it's also really fun when I'm dressed up as intimate alien or just I have like glitter on or something and I see all the smiles from people it's like you're making their day when you do you you know now it seems we're going here. So Intimate Alien is like telling me what to do, which I love. Okay. Oh, she wants a lavender moment. So that's what we're going to do. This is the little Natasha Denona Tropic palette. I love it. It got like kind of bad reviews online. See, now I wasn't expecting her to put it there, but that's what we're doing. So, okay. But I love it. I think it's great. It's like creamy and easy to blend and... Um, pigmented obviously so we're going with it I think expression is interesting because you are a different person every day and if you give yourself space to be a different person every day then you'll give yourself the opportunity to download those new curiosities like I remember a couple years before Intimate Alien wanted to come forward in me, that I started watching makeup YouTube and I wasn't wearing any makeup at all, like at the time. Maybe I had a, a couple little RMS pots, like coconut oil makeup, you know, like little tints. That's about it. And I was like, why am I watching these full glam beauty YouTubers do their makeup every single day? Why am I obsessed with this? I wasn't even watching like colorful makeup. It was like normal, everyday makeup. And then a couple years after that, Intimate Alien came out and she wanted to do her own makeup. And here we go. I had this bank of knowledge in the back of my head. Don't question yourself. You know, if you have, if <laughs> this is where my, <laughs> my talent is lacking. Look at all that. Look at that patchiness. Just go with your curiosities and don't judge it because you never know where it's going to lead. I did not in a million years think that I would be embodying and channeling an alien. Never, ever, ever thought. I mean, you might look at me and think like, oh, that's so natural for her. And yeah, now I would say, of course it is. But like, I didn't know it was going to happen then. I really didn't. Go with your gut, right? We always say that and it's so true. You are a vessel for yourself. So if you give yourself space to receive you, you will be shocked at what comes out. Or you'll be like, oh yeah, that's right. I've been kind of feeling that nudge for a, a long time. <laughs> 
<laughs> don't stab yourself in the eye, okay? Because <laughs> that happens too. You know, a lot of times, like, I'll be busy or I'll be focusing on other things and I'll, like, give myself a moment of rest after that and realize, oh, this has been trying to come out and I haven't really let it come out, but it's been there. It's been there for sure. I'm gonna layer a little bit of this other Natasha Denona palette. Oh, it's a Natasha Denona Day. Look at that. This is, this I actually bought for myself, but I don't really wear eyeshadow myself. I'm layering a little bit of this purple tungsten on there. All right, that looks a little better. Ooh, makes my eyes pop. Look at that. Thanks, Sentiment Alien. Be curious about yourself and be open to trying things that you didn't think were you. You know, if I had a dollar for every time either I or a coaching client was like, oh, that's not me, said that, and then it was them, and then they excelled at that, and then it became their thing, I would be rich. I could buy all the Sicily that I wanted. Um, okay. So we're purple now, and I think Intimate Alien wants to put some top eyeliner on. And she's going with this baby. This is the Kaleidos Limelight. My god, that's small. <laughs> All right, so we're going with Limelight. I might need to move this up for eyeliner. Oh, I love the purple and the green. What do you know about yourself? What do you know already, you know? What do you want to try? What have you been ignoring? What have you been ignoring? I would love to know if you want to put that in the comments. Wow, that is intense. Isn't that amazing? Holy crap. All right, all right, I put a little bit on the bottom and now she wants to go in with the purple one on the waterline, which is Night of Creation. I don't think I've used this one yet. Another great question now that my eyes are watering is, what would be fun to try? I always thought that um, getting body painted would be fun. And I think about it often, and I've, I've done it myself, but it would be cool to have like, you know, professionally airbrushed or something. Like that would be, that would be incredible. Now, am I feeling shy about that? Yeah, am I feeling like, ooh, I don't know where to get that done? Yeah. But that doesn't mean it's out of range. You know, a lot of times we think like, I don't know how to accomplish that. I don't know who does that. And it may be true in this moment, but you know what we all have? We have Google. And Google is pretty amazing because it can connect you with things that you didn't know were there. So apparently now we're going in with this like muted lime green underneath the eyes, which is an interesting choice. Not, not one I would have guessed. <laughs> this is not the softest brush, for sure. Having people around to help you, or to like, be like a, I don't know, to accompany you when you're going out for the first time looking at a different way can be helpful too. I know I feel a lot more comfortable being intimate alien at at events and stuff if I have Eric there. It's kind of nice, you know? It's not necessary, but it's nice. It kind of takes your mind off of the fact that maybe you're looking a little bit different. I went to a Miranda Sings Colleen Ballinger show as Intimate Alien, and it was so much fun, and people loved it. So I did that, and Eric was there, and it was really fun. I did go to a holiday drag show as Intimate Alien too, and the drag queens loved that we dressed up. So, you know, like I've done it both ways for sure. I mean, I've, got, I've gone all over the places in Tim and Alien alone and it's fine. I really enjoy it. But I am a little bit more conscious of it, you know, as with when I'm with someone else, I'm less conscious of it and I'm more just focused on them and what I'm doing. Wow, I didn't think that was gonna work. I mean, and it looks a little sickly weird, but it's really cool too. I just picked this up because I'm used to doing that at this stage, but she's like, not yet, girl, not yet. 
She says we need a little bit of shimmer. What shimmer would you like, my lady? Oh, okay. Now I know. A little bit of this. This, ugh, this is, I was, I waited to buy this for like at least a year because Kaleidos ships from China. I usually buy things, you know, with free shipping or at least low cost shipping. Um, and I, I just didn't feel like spending all that much money until I did. And oh my God, I'm so glad that I did. All right, now she's saying we're gonna do some blush layering. So I have these two blushes here from Makeup Geek. She wants both of them. We're bolting them. And oh, whoa, that's a lot of blush. That's what she wants. What can really help as well with being more comfortable going out in public in your full self-expression is to meditate, ground yourself, be in the center of your head before you go out, right? Get in your own space and create a barrier between your energy and the rest of the world. Now that's not an impenetrable wall. I know some people get a little like, well, I don't want to live in a fortress kind of thing. You know, I want to be plugged into the world, but you still will be for sure. I should not put that back and then use it again tomorrow on a regular blush. But creating some separation between your energy and the world's energy will save you. It allows you to be fully present in you while you are in the world. Now, doesn't that sound nice? I love, love, love that because then I'm actually able to be me. I'm able to bring my self, my vibration as a gift to the world. You know, if you want to say it like that, like Matt Kahn does. By the way, I haven't watched him in a very long time, but I liked that. It's like, how do you hold your vibration in the world? See it as a gift, bring it as a gift, hold it, you know? And it's a lot easier to do that if you've prepared you know, prepare your energy, prepare your space uh, to be in the world. We don't need more reactions, right? Yeah, we want more responses. So that is very helpful. And that way you're, you're not worried about being taken off guard, right? Like I said, I used to be called all kinds of things and it didn't bother me. But what bothered me eventually was when I wasn't showing up as my full self, when I was defeated and deflated and insecure, that is what made me not comfortable in myself. And that's an inner job. Wow, this is like, other than the fact that I look really tired still, because it's like way before any time I'm usually speaking, this is looking really good. I really like this. Okay, apparently now it's concealer time, which is great. Experiment. You know, I, I really love this Halloween time to experiment with your look. Before I dressed up as an alien for my work, I would use every Halloween to basically dress up as an alien. And it was really fun. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. But it doesn't have to be just once a year, but it's a great gateway. I have a video about that and I'll put that up here. Oh, now we're powdering. Um, another Sicily product, by the way. I love this powder. It's amazing. But honestly, I don't have a lot of experience with other powders, so all powders could be amazing. I really don't know. Do you think we could get into Alien to be like the first alien ambassador for like a, a makeup product? That would be pretty cool. Oh my god, I just made sure we were still recording. Wouldn't that be hilarious if we stopped recording? <laughs> Okay, now mascara? Not yet, she says. What are we missing? Oh, lips. We have to, we have to go purple, but I don't think she is. Are we going purple? We have this like dusty purple, which is so grungy and awesome. Um, but I think, I think she's wanting to go nude. We have three nudes, I think. Is this the one she wants? Yeah, she wants this one. If I can get it out. Ah. They are so 
soft to the touch. I love these so much. Okay, we'll put this on. Oh my god, it's perfect. <sighs> it's just so tickly, this applicator. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job. That's all right. All right. Are we doing a, a yes? Okay. We're doing a lip line. Probably because I didn't do a very good job. Okay. Good enough. Time for mascara. Another thing that's great for expression is to like go to a city or your local museum or um, watch you know, RuPaul's Drag Race, or like, go on net a -porte. like, what is your thing? What are, what sparks a little bit of you? I think I grew up near New York City, and so going to the city was always wonderful, because there's so many cool people, and stores, and, you know, every time I'd go, a different friend would bring me to a different place, and so I got to see different kinds of people, and I also love New York because there are so many different kinds of people. It's like you can look however you want and you're not even going to get a second look. Like, I, I feel like you can look the most bizarre and still be anonymous in New York, which I prefer. I mean, I also like attention. I mean, I like making people smile. I like when people will say something to me as well. But New York is just, it feels so safe. So if you have a city nearby, go there. Seeing as I look up close, I love. I love, 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 love. Thrifting is also a good way to like try out different styles. You know, it's a little bit less of an investment of money to try out a whole bunch of things. And I feel like it, it can be really helpful to have a variety of things to choose from when you're trying out different outfit styles. Like, do you like accessories? Do you like minimal? Do you like grungy? Do you like you know, all, you know, whatever it happens to be. Sometimes having some things in your home that you like and trying to put them together will spark something new in you. You might find out that you like a certain combination of colors, a certain combination of textures or layers. You wouldn't have known that if you just bought like one little thing at a time, which honestly is what I usually end up doing. Okay, now she wants just a little bit of bronzer. So we're gonna go in with some bronzer, the only bronzer I own, which is Bare Minerals um, in Faux Tan. She's like golden goddessy today, huh? And here we are. So I hope that, you know, you've gotten some tips on how to, oh, I don't have a wig on. Oh my God, wait a minute. Here we are. Okay, so we're green wigging it today. I think it really brings the whole look together. I'm excited. I love this. I love it. It's great. My final tip is to let yourself play. Let yourself go. You can even try let your hand be the brain, just like you do in intuitive art. So let yourself play. You can wash it off if you want to play with makeup, with glitter, with paint, with clothes. You know, make a little online capsule wardrobe with pictures, you know, it doesn't cost anything. Try it out, you know, and make sure you get in your own space, right? Make sure you are inhabiting yourself so you can feel your truth, you can feel your curiosity, and you will care so much less about what the outside world thinks about you. Because don't forget, this is your life. Who cares what anyone else thinks? It's none of your business. All right. Well, thanks for getting ready with us, and I will see you again soon. Lots of love. Bye for now.